Alright, this is my advanced drafting experience. Hi, I'm Tyler Harrison, and I'm from Mr. West's two-hour drafting class. Uh, this video is part of my first semester capstone project. I'm going to cover the engineering projects I chose to do. Uh, my first project was to make a device that combined an Allen wrench and an a wrench. The goal of this project was to make it easier to carry around and to keep track of the pieces. Uh, at the start, I researched past ideas to inspire me. Once inspired, I brainstormed ideas on how I could make my tool like those, but with my own twist. So after my se my session of brainstorming, I came up with the idea to make wrench bits that snapped into place on top of the non-removable Allen wrenches. This allows you to not be able to lose the tiny Allen wrench. Um, to start the process of making it, I had to first draw my uh, design by hand with dimensions, hidden lines, center marks, center lines. The dimensions were taken from the actual Allen wrenches and wrenches and applied to the older screwdriver project for my last year's engineering graphics class. Uh, the next step was to make the 3D model of my idea. I'm, in doing this, I was able to tell that the design I planned on using was not going to work. So in discovering this, I had to re-engineer my whole project to a four-way multi-tool. Once the 3D model was complete and after minor adjustments were made, I had to make 2D drawings again, but this time on the computer. These working drawings were needed in order to tell the 3D printer how to print my part. When printing, I decided to only print one of the wrench bits due to the fact if one didn't work, all of them wouldn't, and that would be a waste of a lot of material. This helps me focus on the cost efficiency. Once printed, I had to sand down some parts to make the device's look, lock and function actually work. Other than that, timing my function, the tool ended up coming out pretty well. And here is what it looked like when it was done. It's got the, extra, the Allen wrench four bits and then the one of the wrench bits the 50 millimeter front side the other three weren't printed because I found that this was really big and it would be a lot of material going to waste so when after finishing that project I started on my next project which was making a universal kicking tee for a kicker on a football team um, I'm I'm the kicker on the football team, so that's why I got inspired from this. Um, so I developed a kicking tee that allows the player to not have to carry around a kicking tee and a kicking block. Um, to start off, I researched the rules and regulations for kicking tees and blocks, and used those to make sure that I got the size that it had to be met in order to be used. Next, I attempted to tweet all the NFL kickers and ask them what their ideal kicking tee would be like. Unfortunately, no one replied to my tweets, so I designed my own. Um, and these are some of the examples of the tweets I made to the kickers. I started off with this one, and then I moved on to this one. Um, I did it for every NFL kicker, and then I did the kickers of my favorite college teams, and I sent them all. I waited for a response. Unfortunately, nobody responded, so I just made my own. Um, then I started, as usual, making 2D sketches. These sketches are labeled with dimensions that collected from an actual kicking tee. Uh, when I was finished with my sketches, I started to 3D model my tee and block while while 3D printing, I realized there was a problem and I had to re-engineer my idea to compensate for this malfunction. This happened a total of three times before I finally settled on the final design. After the 3D model, I made a set of working drawings. When I finished the drawings, I printed them out and cut them out to use them as a stencil to cut out pieces of cardboard. The cardboard was put together into a prototype of my tees and blocks so I could use it before, so I could see it before it was printed. The prototype looked good, so I 3D printed the actual T and block, and when it came out, I discovered that it weighed a pound after it came out of the printer. We had to put it in the wash bath for a bit to remove all the support material. Once the support material was removed, I took a picture of my T and block, and my teacher put it on Twitter where it was liked and retweeted by Autodesk, along with other companies. Um, and this is a picture of... This one it was the prototype I made out of the cardboard that I put the paper on. And this is what the 3D model actually looked like. Um, yeah. 
it, this one came out to be a pound because I didn't check the weight of it, but it still works because it's the same. It holds football, everything. Um, even though I was only able to complete two projects this semester, I'm I think I did uh, some good projects, and I, I'm hoping that next semester when I start making again that there will be more projects that help people and I'm, I'm looking forward to what I might come up with so thank you